about a year ago, people were like, oh man, I gotta get my swine flu vaccine because scientists overhyped it. Scientists overhyped it? Really? <laughs> Have you ever talked to a scientist? <laughs> Traditionally, these are not the people with required social skills to overhype something. <laughs> Like, at their best, they can barely maintain eye contact. <laughs> at their worst, they're actually mildly autistic. <laughs> there might be a few scientists here tonight who are like, oh, that's not true. To which I say, stop mumbling. <laughs> uh, but there, <laughs> then there's the other people who are like, oh, no, the swine flu vaccine, that was just a big money grab by the pharmaceutical companies. Money grab? Sham wow was a money grab. <laughs> The only vaccine can be a money grab if they're like, free swine flu vaccine with every new prescription of Viagra, then it's a money grab. <laughs> like, what, what, what did you want them to do? Just sit this one out? And be like, well, we know how to make a vaccine to stop the spread of disease and prevent human suffering, but uh, eh, we wouldn't want to look greedy. <laughs> it's not really the lesser of two evils there, you know what I mean? That's like Superman letting Lois Lane plummet to her death because he doesn't want to look sexist. <laughs> Like, well, I could swoop in and save her, but she's a modern woman. Let's see if she can do it on her own. 